1,888 United States House of Representatives Elections, Wikipedia Article Audio. John Carlisle, Democratic. Thomas Reed, Republican. Elections to the United States House of Representatives held in 1888 were held to choose members of the 51st Congress, and it were held at the same time as the election of President Benjamin Harrison. Harrison's Republican Party gained the majority in the House at the expense of the Democratic Party, even though incumbent President Grover Cleveland actually received more votes counted than Harrison. However, as in other elections in the period, Widespread vote suppression and fraud was common on behalf of Democrats and against black Republicans in the South. The Republican House majority in uncontested elections unseated a number of initially reported as victorious Democratic candidates in favor of Republican candidates who contested their election loss. The issue of tariffs played a key role in this election. The Democrats, with the support of farmers and laborers, wanted to lower tariffs in order to promote free trade, while the Republicans, backed by industry and big business, believed that higher tariffs were necessary to protect American manufacturing. Especially in industrializing regions, voters chose the Republican view on tariffs, as they gave the party a slim majority in the House. Seven seats were added, for the six new states of, in order of admission, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, and Wyoming. The previous election had four third-party candidates two Labor, one Greenback, and one Independent. In 1888, three states, with seven seats among them, held elections early. The states admitted in 1889 all held their first election on October 1st. Wyoming's first election was held on September 11, 1890, for both the 51st Congress and the 52nd Congress. Idaho held two elections simultaneously on October 1, 1890 one for the 51st Congress and the other for the 52nd Congress. In the 1st District, initial returns showed William H. Kate winning the election, but the election was contested by Louis P. Featherstone, and on Mary 5, 1890, was declared the winner. In the 2nd District, Clifton R. Breckinridge was initially declared re-elected. John M. Clayton successfully contested the election, but was assassinated before the contest was complete so the House declared the seat vacant. Breckinridge was then re-elected November 4, 1890 to finish the term. In the 7th District, Elliott was initially declared re-elected, but Miller successfully challenged the election and was seated in his place in September, 1890.